and change it, this particular scope freezes its mode. So I have to, if I'm doing something with the trigger, I have to hit OK when I'm done. Right now I'm triggering on the leading edge of the pulse, which means I look for the first occurrence of where the pulse is rising. I can look at a negative edge. That doesn't matter much for a square wave. There's a mode called normal triggering. We'll talk about more. And then single. Single means every time that I hit OK, I get a single static waveform. So notice in single, it's not moving. It's not continuously triggered, but only when I hit the button. And I point this out now mostly because you can kind of get stuck if you uh, get things into the wrong mode. We really typically just want it auto mode, and the um, slope of the trigger could be positive or negative. And you should see it saying triggered and kind of flashing a bit. Um, when it's actually recording data. If there's any question whether you're reading live data or not, of course, you always just disconnect your signal and it will go away. Now, the reason we do this is because we need to talk about AC power supplies. And so um, that is actually our next topic. So we've used this scope, the scope power supply, and this um, hook tip oscilloscope probe. Now, uh, let's look at the power supply a little bit. And being, we start with the AC adapter. Here's the uh, 12 volt AC adapter. Note that uh, it is very, very similar to that nine volt power supply. So do not confuse these or you will potentially damage the scope. Now they are keyed slightly different. They shouldn't quite fit in with each other, but you don't want to get these mixed up. What we are going to do, however, is look at the output of this supply. And again, the input is 120 volts AC, 60 hertz. So that's what comes from our wall outlet. Output is 12 volts AC, 1 ampere, 1000 milliamperes. So we're going to take a look at this power supply using the oscilloscope understand exactly what it means to be AC power. Plug it in. Find that end. The ground clip we'll put for now on the outside. be a little hard to get to stick on there and so we're going to go into our mechanical and look for the plug the power plug Maybe an electrical. There it is, an electrical. It's power plug. The outside uh, pin should be um, the outside part of the barrel, and the shorter one should be the inside part of the barrel. This will be a lot easier to hook up to. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a sine wave. It is 120 volts per division. 
So it would be 20, 40 volts from the top to the bottom almost, it looks like. And it's repeating here at 5 milliseconds per division. Why don't I change that to 10 milliseconds? So one cycle repeats every 10 plus maybe 8, maybe 18 milliseconds for a cycle. So I write that down. The period I means the frequency is 1 over. 18 milliseconds or 1 over 18 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds or I get out my calculator calculated that give that gives me 55 Hertz well that isn't quite correct but then again it's a little hard to measure this uh, period accurately um, but of course 55 Hertz is awfully close to 60 Hertz which is uh, the frequency of the AC outlets in the United States of course so I'm fairly confident we are looking at uh, AC power, but we're not looking at 120 volts AC. We're looking at something which is about plus or minus, you know, maybe 18 or so volts. Now, the scale at these large voltages isn't very good, and that's one of the reasons this waveform looks a little bit funny, but it does tell us we're doing, dealing with something which is definitely not more than plus or minus 20.